Hey creators, welcome back. Have you noticed how faceless quiz channels have been going viral non-stop over the last several months? New channels are popping up everywhere, and some of them are getting unbelievable results. One channel started recently and already has multiple videos hitting half a million views and making over $5,000 in the last month, according to Social Blade. The best part? These videos are extremely simple to make. You can create a full 15 to 20 minute quiz video in minutes using two free AI tools, ChatGPT and Canva. Today, I'll show you exactly how you can make the same viral style quiz videos from scratch. So let's get into the tutorial. All right, first open ChatGPT and enter the prompt I've shared in the video description. We're going to create a guess the word by emoji quiz because this format performs extremely well across many channels. Once you paste the prompt, ChatGPT will generate a full table with numbers, emojis, and their answers. For example, it may show a basket emoji and a ball emoji, which together form the word basketball, or a sun and a flower emoji, which becomes sunflower. You can also customize this by replacing the category with anything else, like fruits, and changing the number to 20 or more. When you click Generate, ChatGPT will instantly create a full list of quizzes based on the category you choose. The next step is to open Canva and start a new video project. First, add a background by going to Elements and searching for Spiral Background. Open Videos. Choose the one you like and set its duration to around 11 seconds. Now add a heading from the text and type guess the word. Change the font to something bold. Make it uppercase. Adjust the size and move it to the very top. Open the effects panel. Apply the shadow effect and change the shadow color to black. Then select the main text and change its color to yellow so it stands out clearly. Now duplicate this text and simply change it to 1 for the question number. Press C on your keyboard to add a circle. Add a 15 pixel border. Change the border to yellow. And set the circle color to black. Then place the number inside it. Change the number color to yellow too. Once the circle and number look right, select them both and move them to the top left corner. Next, duplicate the heading again. Go back to ChatGPT and copy the first emoji from the table, then paste it onto the canvas. Set the size to around 300 pixels, then duplicate it and paste the second emoji. Align them to the center. Then open effects and adjust the shadow direction to the left. After that, go to elements again and search for loading bar. Switch to the videos tab. Choose a loading bar animation. Go to position, open layers, and move it above the background so you can work easily. Crop the background and place it exactly in the bottom center. Round the corners. Zoom the preview to crop it perfectly. Place it exactly in the bottom center. Now we need a frame for the answer. Search for frame in elements and select a rounded frame. Adjust its size. Make the corners rounded. Add a border. Change the border color to yellow. Press R to add a rectangle. Place it at the bottom of the frame. 
round its corners, add a border, make the shape black, and set the border to yellow. Duplicate the heading again. Place it inside the answer box. Copy the answer from ChatGPT and paste it in. Remove the shadow from the answer text so it looks clean. Now select the entire frame and the answer box and adjust their size and position until everything looks balanced. Next, bring the emoji layers to the top so they stay visible during editing. Align them properly. Then open the timeline and set the emojis to appear at 0.5 seconds. Select the loading bar. Increase its speed to 2x and set it to appear at the 1 second mark. Make the emojis disappear when the loading bar ends. After that, select all the answer layers and make them appear right after the loading bar finishes. To keep the timeline clean, group the heading and number layers together because they will remain visible throughout the video. Now select both emoji layers, go to Animate, apply the Pop animation, then scroll down and add the wiggle effect with minimum intensity. Select the loading bar and apply the baseline animation, then set it to reverse so it animates properly. Select the answer box layers, apply the Pop animation, and set it to enter only. Move the playhead to the 0.5 second mark when the emojis appear. Then go to Elements, search for Cork Pop 1, open the audio, and add that sound effect. Move the playhead to the 1 second mark where the loading bar starts. Search for Egg Timer, and add the timer sound. Set its duration to match the end of the loading bar. Then move to the point where the answer appears. Search for Logo Ascend 8 and add that as the answer reveal sound. Now let's see how it looks. Increase the volume of the timer sound to make it more noticeable. To add these sounds to all slides, select all visual elements, delete them temporarily, and download the video with only the sound. Press Ctrl Z or Command Z to bring everything back, then upload the downloaded sound only video and replace the background. Since the video already contains the sound effects, Delete the individual audio tracks from the timeline. Adjust the frame size if needed. And now the quiz layout is ready. Next, we will bulk generate all quiz slides. Go to the apps and open Bulk Create. Click Enter Data Manually. Clear the table. Then go back to ChatGPT. Copy the full quiz table. Paste it into the first column. Adjust the column headers if needed, so you can recognize each one. And click Done. Now connect your elements to the data. Connect the number element to the number column. The answer text to the answer column and connect each emoji to its column.
Once all connections are done, click Continue and then Generate Designs. Canva will now create a new file containing all slides automatically. Open that file and you'll see that all the quiz slides are ready. Now we need to add answer images. For example, if the answer is basketball, search for basketball in elements. Open photos and drag a picture into the answer frame. Go to the next slide, search for sunflower, drag it in, and continue this process for all slides. Once that done, go back to ChatGPT and enter that prompt. This will generate question phrases for your voiceovers. Then, enter the next prompt, which will generate the answer voiceovers. After that, go to Eleven Labs, which is one of the best text-to-speech tools. When you create an account, you get 5,000 free credits, which is more than enough to make your first few videos. Copy the first question from ChatGPT. Paste it into Eleven Labs. Choose a voice you like. Life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. And click Generate Speech. Can you figure out what this word is? Download the audio. Then repeat the process for the first answer as well. Yep, you got it. It's basketball. Now go back to Canva and upload both voiceovers. Before adding them, add transitions between the slides. I'm using color wipe, setting it to top right, changing the colors, and applying the transition between all slides. Now add the question voice into the timeline where the emojis appear. Can you figure out what this word is? And drag the answer voice where the answer reveals. Yep, you got it. It's basketball. Repeat the process for every slide. You can either generate each question and answer one by one, or generate them all at once. This one's fun. And upload them together. Then trim and place them in the correct timings. And that's it. Once everything is in place, your full quiz video is ready. And that's the final result. Can you figure out what this word is? Yep, you got it. It's basketball. Take a look. What do these emojis mean together? Easy one. That's definitely sunflower. This one's fun. Can you guess it correctly? Correct. The emojis were showing a fireman. I hope this tutorial helped you understand the complete process of creating engaging quiz videos using Canva and ChatGPT. If you found this video useful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more easy tutorials like this. You'll find all the prompts in the description below, so don't forget to check them out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.